get this straight. You told us why you chose DTF. You've shown us the morning maintenance of a DTF printer and how to upload a design into the software. But my question is, where is the video on how to print, cure, and press? Hello? I'm sure that's what some of you are saying. And guess what? Today I'm taking you from print to press. Okay, so let's get started with the printing portion. Now, in this particular video, I'm showing you an overhead view of the printer in action. But I'm doing this because I wanted to highlight something that we talked about in the last video. And that was once you put in all of your settings and you're ready to print, there's one last dialog box that comes up. And I pointed out the importance of clicking the button that says print color first. Why is that important? Well, if you look at this particular picture, it lays the color down first on your film and then follows up with the white ink on top. That's why that's important. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply our powder to our transfer. So this is just a regular storage bin with a lid. I'm placing the transfer inside, and this is actually my husband, guys. So he has placed the transfer inside, and he's just sprinkling our powder, which in this case, it was a rubberized powder that we were using. Once he sprinkled that on, you're going to maneuver that powder. So if you look at the way that he's kind of maneuvering this film to make sure that the powder is covering every single piece that is printed on this film. And you may be asking yourself, why is this important? Well, here's the thing. This is what's going to become your adhesive that helps that design actually adhere to your t-shirt, sweatshirt, whatever you're putting it on that's what that's for so here once you've made sure that everything is completely covered you want to make sure that you try and get off the excess so part so like thumping the film that typically kind of helps knock off some of that excess uh, powder that may be on there now here i'm trying to show you a texture shot so that you can actually see what it looks like when your transfer is fully covered in powder so there's going to be another clip. Here we go. So this is a an up close view of what it looks like. So as you can see, there's a lot of texture. And I want you to take note of that because in the next portion of the film, I'm going to be showing you what it looks like after it's cured. Let's cure this transfer. Now in my particular case, I am using a toaster oven, convection oven that I have in my office to cure my transfers. Please note, this is not the only way that you can do this. I just so happen to have a double door convection oven because I also do sublimation. And so that's what I'm using. Now, if you look here, look at the texture of this. So it kind of looks a little wet. The feel is definitely smoother than what it feels like prior to but I wanted to show that shot just so that you could actually see the difference between an uncured film and a cured film. I'm just showing you here, I have my heat press at 330 and the first press is for 15 seconds with medium to firm pressure on my heat press. Now, here I am just lining up my image on my shirt I'm actually pressing my shirt backwards. I, I really prefer to press my transfers on this way. I don't know why, I just feel like I can see the spacing really well, but I can press either this way or the other. But for this video, that's how I decided to do it. I'm gonna put my Teflon sheet down. This is my very first press. And after this press, I am going to let the design cool down prior to peeling. Oh my goodness, those colors are so vivid. I think this is what I am truly loving about direct-to-film printing. Oh my goodness, did you see the way that thing peeled? I absolutely, listen, 
I'm just excited, okay? I'm excited because I see so many possibilities with this machine. I am in no way, shape, or form telling you that this is the only machine that I will ever purchase. However, when it comes to these multicolored prints, I think direct to film might be onto something. I'm gonna follow this up with a second press for about five to 10 seconds. So you'll see that here. While you're here, if this video has added any value to you deciding whether or not you wanna go with a DTF printer or how to use your DTF printer, please hit that like button. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications because there will be more videos. Actually, I have video number four that will be dropping soon, which will be a Q&A. So I am gonna be taking your questions that you've been dropping in the comment section and answering those in a video very soon.